Alright. I'm going to talk about uh, loss and recovery. If possible, loss and recovery. Check it out, man. Life is a funny fucking goddamn thing. One day you're on top, next day you're trying to do something else, trying to work, get your money and stuff like that, all fucking hell breaks loose. I mean, damn, what the hell is going on in this country, man? Uh, I don't know, man, I used to be in New York, I used to live in New York, um, I don't know what the hell happened over there, I didn't care, my life spiraled out of control when I when I decided to go into the military and it was not the military that really fucking did it. It was like before the fucking military when people found out I was going into the military and basically holy, holy hell broke loose back then. I was going into the military because I wanted to see the world. I wanted to see something different and I'm sorry. Alright. Niggas went ape shit. That's all I got to say. People want to have a problem with me because uh, I left New York. In my opinion, that was a smart thing to do. Not because I was afraid, but that was a fucking smart thing to do. I don't care what anybody freaking says. Okay? And, 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 I'm, one of these days I might go up there and visit and stuff like that, but. You know, I just, I just, I just lost taste of my old neighborhood. One, the one of the reasons I was going in the military because I lost taste in my old neighborhood because Castle was dead. People, <laughs> Castle was dead back in the day. Castle was dead. It used to be the bomb. Don't get me wrong. It used to be the place to be and stuff like that. This it, Castle just died over the years. I mean, people moving out, I didn't even know, I mean, at, at the end of my time in my projects, I ain't no fucking, I ain't no a quarter of people there, okay? I mean, it was just new people coming in, and it seems like uh, the projects, the people that had charged with housing, they didn't care who the hell they was bringing in there, and... I got sick of it, okay? I actually got on my fucking horse and I actually fucking did something about it. I went into the United States fucking military. Unfortunately, somebody was playing some kind of freaking retarded prank or whatever the hell they did. They was doing on me at the time about some, stu some, some stupid ass girl, I guess. And shit went downhill from there. <laughs> Came down here, all the way in Virginia, and got a job for a little while and decided to do what I wanted to do the first time, like go into the military before I was really interrupted by a bunch of crazy ass psychopaths with a clearest problem. I mean, I, I'm getting sick and tired of all these fucking goddamn guys responding to these, these clitoris issues. I mean, the woman is not. <laughs> the, it's not your woman. You don't even know who this woman is. You don't know where she came from. Alright? You don't know where, what, what the fuck, what she's about. Okay? And you got niggas going crazy and bitches going crazy trying to keep me by myself and shit like that. And now, personally, I mean, I'm slowly progressing back to what I was and how I was doing my life and and stuff like that but it odds me how black people team up when it comes to another woman black people team up on a negro like 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 tag team I mean black people are notorious for for dumping or discarding other black men. I mean, totally fucking notorious. They do this fucking shit all the time. I have seen it. I have seen it through my hood, my neighborhood, and stuff like that. People used to be the bomb diggly. They just tossed aside. They can't even fucking find a friend no more. 
I don't know what the hell this shit is, but I guarantee you it's not worse than selling drugs or killing people for a living, but they celebrate killing people and selling drugs. And you get all the friends you need. Can somebody fucking explain to me the mindset of the 21st century black man and black woman? Because I fucking can't. They're all losing their goddamn minds, trifling as hell, and I don't know what the hell to say about it. Okay, it took me a shock because I most of the time, you know, when I was when I was back home in, in New York, I was at work. I didn't know how stupid uh, race can actually fucking be until I, I, I had to make a quick exit down to Virginia because of some kind of gunplay situation that I had nothing to do about. Didn't carry no guns, but they came after me anyway. But that's okay. Okay? I'm following my tracks. I'm getting on my traps. I'm getting my life back uh, somehow, some way. And I'm getting my body back. I'm getting my mind back. I'm getting everything back. I'm getting my knowledge that I bestow back. Not saying I'm going to be into knowledge too often. I probably get, um, when I get my own, hey, this is a barn right here. A studio. I'm thinking about putting, putting freaking... Uh, ghetto books up there too. <laughs> I'll go back to the original books I used to read because it's obvious black people don't need no freaking knowledge of themselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried. And as simple as that, I tried. Because I'm an honest dude, I tried. And it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's ridiculous. Black people throw each other in the trash like a national fucking pastime. They do it all the time. I've seen this done. Okay? And now they're doing it doing to certain people. Alright? Like myself and somebody else. And for some reason, I don't know why. Because they thought I might have did something. If I did something, that means that might have hurt me. But I didn't. So it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> It doesn't hurt me at all. It makes me concerned about the black nation as being separate and vulnerable to other people. But I guarantee you this, man. Black people going the same, the, the way they're going, they're going to be like, goddamn, in slavery, chains around their neck. For real. I guarantee you that shit. This is World War Prime, boy. I tell you straight up. And that thing that's happening over there in uh, Libya. Shit, that shit gonna come over here. <laughs> it's already done. They got they got prisons. They got they got prisons. They got prisons and um They got prisons. They got prisons, work details, people working for fucking five cents a day. You know what I'm saying? These people are jailing these people up, giving them trumped up charges. I mean, they are giving these people life, straight up and down. You cut your, you cut somebody's fucking hand, in the fight, you getting life. It's like that baby girl that was uh that that protected herself from those drug dealers. Life, and she ain't getting out. <laughs> I never seen uh. An organization, an organization, I've never seen an organization uh, like law enforcement or, or the justice system turn one of their goddamn, um, their, their, you know what I'm saying, charges. When they sentence somebody, that is it. That is fucking it, okay? The mayor's not going to change their mind. The only time I've seen them change their mind is when they call the mayor and then... They probably stop a, um, um, what's that called, um, um, death penalty or something like that. But other than that, I never seen, I never seen anybody change any life sentences or anything like that. They're just handing life sentences like it's, like it's water, man. They're handing life sentences like it's fucking goddamn bread on a bread line. <laughs> okay, as <laughs> simple as that, you do something. Especially when it comes to the point of uh, accidentally or probably murder and you're black, you're getting life. 
They're letting everybody fucking know right now. They're letting, they're letting everybody fucking know right now. You kill somebody or something like that, you get in life. And that's simple as that. It's a pitiful fucking situation. It's a terrible fucking thing. But it's fucking true. Okay? And it's simple as that. And why they give you life, you got those ferry, you got those, you got those, 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 those privately owned jails making buku money off your behind on the stock market. It's beautiful, ain't it? Nice setup! I like it! <laughs> Don't get me wrong, man. This fucking world's crazy. I'm telling you, man. This is the fourth Reich coming up in your ass. I guarantee you that shit. Fourth Reich. This is pure fourth Reich. You know, truly dread. Pure fourth Reich. <laughs> really. You had the third, now you had the fourth. I mean, Hitler, in one of his books, said he wanted to come to America and turn America into the... Um, into into what he had in Germany okay this man did not die he got extradited to South America Argentina okay and as simple as that he been hiding out ever since the man's a he's probably an old man up there in Argentina with a king and nobody knows who the fuck this man is I guarantee you that shit but <sighs> tell you the fourth right man I'm telling you that is where we headed and I believe the Fourth Reich is worldwide. That's why all these organizations like in Europe, France, and all that stuff like that. And you got Libya and shit like that. Imprisoning everybody, selling them off. They like to call it fake news. If it's fake news, and it's in the Bible, it's not fake news. <laughs> and as simple as that. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This is World War Prime. Take care.